Hello, hello, welcome back to Red Ted Art. Now, a number of you have asked me for some more sewing projects, and you've also asked me for some poop projects and some back to school projects. So, here is a poop emoji that you can um, stick on a key ring and hang off the back of your school bag, or you can use it as a keychain, or you can even use it as a Christmas ornament. Now, this is a really, really neat little sewing project. It's not too hard. Um, I think you can do it, and it's a great way to get into sewing and have fun with emojis. So anyway, shall I show you how to make it? Let's go and take a look. So to make your poop emoji keychain, you're going to need um, some brown felt. This is obviously the most important part, so you do need to try and buy some of this. I'm going to try and link below and see if I can find some online for you. Um, a little bit of white and a little bit of black felt. If you can't get black felt, a marker pen should work, um, but you know, I think it's helpful. Um, you also need a little bit of glue, but again, uh, you can choose to sew it rather than glue. Uh, the bits you, you'll see in a minute. Um, a little bit of thread, a needle, uh, scissors, um, a little ribbon for hanging from, or a key ring, you know, you can sew a key ring on straight away, depending what you've got, and a little bit of stuffing. I've got some recycled um, bits of wool here, or not recycled, but you know, this is left over from when I do other projects. I always save it in a little bag. And you need to make yourself a little template. Now to make this, I um, actually got the iPad, I found an emoji and um, a poop emoji and I traced it. Or what you can do is you can get somebody to print off um, the, the poop emoji for you on, on printer paper and then you just cut it out. And I think it's really helpful to do it that way because then you get a really neat, um, basically, emoji. So the first thing I did is cut your felt out. Now, if you're not so um, good at cutting, uh, cut out two pieces separately. I'm going to try and do two in one go. Right, now once I've cut it, I'm just going to check that you can really see the shape of the poop so that it looks appropriate so people can tell what it is. Okay, just adding a little bit of contouring. There. I think that that is pretty neat. So the first thing I'm going to do is sew. So you need to thread your needle. Um, threading needles obviously is a little bit tricky. I find it helps if I dampen the end. Then with my nail, I flatten it. And then I push through the needle. Now, if you don't have embroidery thread in the right color, um, you can use a different color. I think a contrasting color would look quite fun. Or you can use normal thread and uh, you know, it just doesn't show up as much. But I don't think it matters whether it shows or doesn't show up as much. But if I don't have, if you didn't have brown embroidery thread, I would use black ordinary thread. Uh, use it double so it's a bit stronger. And I think that would look the part just as nice. So I've now made a little knot at the end. And now I'm going to start um, sewing. I'm going to Firstly, push my needle in between the two, um, what's it called, pieces of felt, in between, because I want my knot to show in the inside. You see, now my knot's on the inside. And now I'm gonna do the running stitch. Now I've got a whole host of stitches up here and down below, so I can show you in detail how to do running stitches and all the other ones. So if you need to look at those to check on the running stitch, please do. But basically, the running stitch is you go from underneath up, like this, and from the top down. And then you um, basically keep doing that. So I'm gonna do that now until about here, because I want to leave some space for stuffing. So I'm gonna go all the way around, and then we're gonna do some stuffing, okay? <laughs> Guys, I forgot to do something. Oh, this happens to me all the time. I wanted to put this in and sew it into place. Now that's gonna be really tricky. So you know what, actually? I'm going to undo it again and I'm gonna sew it in. So you see, I, I left this in the video. I sort of thought about it. Should I say, do I do, do that bit of the video again or not? But I decided to leave it in the video because you know what? We all make mistakes. And sometimes it's good for you guys to see it. And then we just have to undo it and not start over because um, I don't need to undo the whole thing. I just need to undo half. So half start over. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so when you get to this point, you now need to add your little hanging thing. Now this poop emoji, if I hadn't uh, forgotten to add this, you could also actually, I could have turned it into a brooch. So it's really your choice. I quite like it, the idea of using it as a brooch as well, but the uh, key ring is what I really wanted to do. Now, you, did you notice there was a little knot? The knot will help secure it as well. Okay. Ah, that was worth it, I think. Now you take some of your stuffing. If you don't have bits of wool like I do, you can use some cotton wool, you can use some toy stuffing, um, you know, just sort of kind of be inventive. You can use some scraps of felt. Now make sure you get it evenly distributed. And you don't want too much actually, because you don't want your poop to be too fat. Because you want to keep some of that sort of iconic shape. So I'm gonna just use a pencil just to push it a little bit into the tip. Okay, not the pencil. There you go. I want some in that tip. And now I'm going to sew it shut. So you need to tuck it in. This can be a bit tricky. You might have to ask an adult to help you at this point. Once it's stuffed, it's a little bit harder to sew, but it's good practice. Remember, if you make anything from uh, Red Ted Art, ask an adult to help you create a video and I'll add it to my Tedster playlist. Just say that you saw this on Red Ted Art and you're having a go. Add it to your title, Red Ted Art. Tell me about it. I'll put it to the special playlist. One more, I think. Great, look at that. Isn't that cute? Now. If you really wanted to, you could uh, draw some lines across or do some thin uh, sewing across just to get sort of that, those poopy effects, but I think I'm gonna just leave it like this. So now I'm gonna put my needle in the back and then come in, can you see between the two pieces of felt? Like so. Now I am between the two pieces and then I'm going to just go back on myself between the two pieces like so, and push my needle through to make a little knot. And that's all happening between the two pieces. Then I'm gonna take my needle, push it into the back like this, give it a pull, cut, and then it'll snap back in the side and you've got a really neat finish. Okay, so, now cut out some eyes and a mouth already. Let's see if they're the right size and if it looks right. They might be a little bit on the big side. I'm not sure yet. What do you think? I think they're okay actually. I'm gonna glue those on. Actually no, I'm gonna just make my eyes a tiny bit narrower. I think they're a little bit big. Now you can hand stitch embroidery on some eyes. So if you don't have white felt, that could look really nice. But obviously um, that takes a bit more work and you might want to do that before you sew your um, poo together or you might want to sew these bits. I'm going to um, glue it on. This is just some very good strong PVA glue. So glue it on the back. I sometimes find it easier to put the glue on the bigger item rather than the smaller item, then you don't get it all over your fingers. Also, if you don't have the black, I think this could work quite well with just um, a black felt tip then. And there you go. You have your hand sewn poop emoji key ring or zipper pull that you can put in your backpack. I think that is super, super cute. Um, I hope you like it too. Remember, add it to your playlists. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you here again soon. Bye.